right here back at you with another video of our three-part series so today we're gonna to be speaking about people's evaluation so the first video we were speaking about everybody's goals when they come in for the gym so remember it's gonna be exercising and f figuring out what they want to do when they're coming here to exercise now today we're gonna to be figuring out what we're gonna be doing once we evaluate them and their body all right, everyone, so when the evaluation is coming, we're gonna be doing five things, all right? So we're gonna be focusing on evaluating five small little things that kind of help me create a little bit of a better and smoother transition into your workout routine. So the first thing that I like to go over is injuries. All right, just figuring out if you have any. If you don't, fantastic. If you do, then that's when we're gonna have to emphasize a little bit on working around those to make sure that everything's okay. Then we focus on mobility because it's really important. We wanna make sure that we can stretch you properly just so make sure that everything that you're gonna be doing is gonna be safe, okay? Then we have prior athletics. So we're gonna be focusing on any kind of prior history, whether if you played sports or you just like to do something recreational. I just need to know if you have any kind of that past history. And if you don't, it's okay. I just wanna make sure that we can start you off where we need to. I don't wanna start you too far back if I don't have to. The fourth thing that we go over is body mechanics. So everybody comes in different shapes and sizes. So we're all taller and some people are closer to the ground than others. So I just wanna know um, how your body moves, okay? And then the last and final thing that we usually go over is gonna be body awareness. So just making sure that you understand how to move your body so we can safely get you through your workout. So during the evaluation, when we go over your injuries, what we're going to be focusing on is getting you out of the mindset that you can't use it. I know a lot of people say that they have a bad knee, a bad back, or a bad wrist. So our goal is to see what we can and can't do with that specific body part and then support it as much as we can. So if you have a wonky wrist, our goal is to see what we can to strengthen the muscle groups around it, strengthen that area so we can keep using it. So the second thing that we're going to be focusing on in the evaluation is mobility because we have a lot of people that surprisingly can't touch their toes. So the good thing is that we're going to be helping you by figuring out what muscle groups are a little tight so we can focus on lengthening them and stretching them to make sure that one, you're a little bit more mobile, which in turn will help you be able to work out a little bit more efficiently and with less injury. So now the third thing that we go over with the evaluation is prior athleticism. So remember that's figuring out what you guys have done before. If you guys have some previous training style that you prefer or a previous knowledge of any kind of exercises. So the goal is to help me figure out and know what you can excel in already so we can just help support the other things that you haven't done before. So if you were a runner before, now we know we don't have to focus on running and it's just building strength on top of the knowledge that you have of running. So now the fourth thing that we're gonna be going through in the evaluation is the body mechanics because we have people that have abnormally long arms and we have some people that have really short arms. So we, it's just figuring out those little differences in everybody's bodies and then also figuring out how we can implement those differences into your workout so we can work out a little bit more efficiently. Now the last and final thing that we go over in our evaluation is body awareness. Now what we're gonna be doing is making sure that in any situation that you are, that you're comfortable moving your body the way you need to. So whether that be you're doing an obstacle or balancing on one leg, um, we wanna make sure that you're comfortable, you understand what it is that you need to do so your body can do it efficiently. All right guys, so now those are the five different things that we go over during our evaluation. So now in the first video, you saw that we found our goals. Now you see now this video, we did all our evaluations. So now the next video, we're gonna show you guys how to get there. All right, so thank you guys for watching the video. Feel free to comment down below if you guys have any questions about any of the things that we went through in the evaluation. I'll see you guys in the next video.